Hi guys, welcome to this channel. It's Max from the Next Creation. If it's your first time coming back to this channel, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell because it's always very important for you to add to get the updates. In today's video, we are going to look at what we call the medical fitness test. Most of you, or most of us, when we are coming from our countries, we get to under underestimate what you call the medical fitness test. But the question that I'm posing to you, or the question that you, you may be the same time pose to me or you ask to me in the comment section, is that where do we get to fail out with a medical test? Where do we get to fail out? Especially we, when we get to look at what you call most of the times, the very many scenarios we are getting of people being repatriated back or people being deported back because of medical failures or medical fitness test failures are normally coming from Africa. Why is it that way? Or why do we get into that kind of essence whereby we put in a lot of money in the, man, in, in the recruitment agencies uh, or we put in or whatever we have to put in to prepare to come then at the end of it all after reaching the country or coming to these Gulf countries then after doing the medical test you get to fail the medical test and you repatriate it back to your country. Why? That is what we want to understand, and that is what we want to disagree, uh, discuss. Such that at the end of it all, we know how to wipe up this. We know how better we can prepare ourselves when we are planning these journeys to come to these Gulf countries. Especially when we are talking about in Qatar. For people who are coming in Qatar, for the medical fitness tests, they are very strict. They are very strict. But First of all, let us try to know where is the problem coming from. Why do people fail what we call medical tests? Or medical fitness tests, as we may say it. Remember when we are talking about the medical fitness test here in Qatar. They do test a lot. They will test, uh, test AIDS, they will test the blood, they will test the syphilis, they will test uh, the sexually transmitted, they will test all of them. They will even test what they will take, what we call the x-rays. They will test the bones. They, they, will, they, will, they will always want to make sure. The role of the medical test is always want to make sure that is this person fit for the job? Is this person fit to work in the country? Is this person fit to work in the labor force? Is this person fit to live among the other people? That is the role of the medical test when it's being done in these countries. Otherwise, we will only not be doing medical tests and we'll just come from our own countries and come and start working, whatever kind of thing we have it to whom it may concern. Oh, even at home, they may know they, they would not even ask for you to have a medical test as the procedure for you to come in the country. But let us try to know where is the problem coming from? Where do we fail ourselves from? Apart from the country failing us. Because remember, you are given a work visa. This person sponsors you, puts in the exit for you, he gives you a ticket or even gives you a work, uh, he pays up your visa. He injects money, he knows what is recruiting is the person he's going to use for his labor force to make sure that he does for him the jobs and he can get out of the profits and part of that profit can be given to this this employee as part of his uh, also his salary so this is where the problem comes from especially people coming from africa when I talk about Africa, I talk about Ghana, I talk about uh, Uganda, I talk about Kenya, I talk about those countries. The problem is that the problem of the recruitment agencies and you. Most of the time, these recruitment agencies will ask you money to go and do for you medicals. In that kind of falses that you always want to bypass the system, you give them money before even you actually you go to the hospital to find out what may be wrong with you at that very time. So you find that most of the time, since these man recruitment agencies are profit oriented or they need profit or they need money out of you at that very time, is what they will do. They will go and take you or try to forge certificates, try to take you to those clinics that are not fully equipped to check a full thorough check of your body. So you find that you also contented a certificate is being printed for you. Falsely, you know this certificate is not real and 
Inside you, you may know your problem, but you are trusting this money recruitment agency at that time to be the one that knows better your health than you know yourself. So you are living in what we call denial. You live in what we call denial. You get the week, the visa, you get the ticket, you come. You do the medicals from here the first time you fail the medicals. You do the medicals the second time you fail the medicals. Remember, you've already injected it, the money power. You gave the money to the manpower company at whatever amount of money they might have asked for from you. You gave them the money. They did, they, they did their work. You're already inside the country. You're in Qatar. You go for the medical, you first time you fail the medical. The second time they'll, inv they'll invite for the medical, you fail the medicals. Why? Because of the x-rays. Then after, your company has no way to accommodate you. Because the only way to live in these Gulf countries, or the only way to live in Qatar here, you must have what you call a residence permit, or what you call a residence card. That's what you call the Qatar ID. That signifies that you are eligible to live in the country. And that Kai ID must have been achieved in the first six months of the probation. That is the period, period that is given to you to, to get what you call a residence card or residence permit. Once you don't get that Qatar ID or don't get that residence permit within the six months, then something's wrong. Maybe your medicals are not right. What are you awaiting for at that time? You are waiting to be returned back home because you cannot live in the population and they cannot accommodate you. You are not medically fit to be in that position or medically fit to do any work in this Gulf country. But, guys, you know this. Before, I will just give you an advice because most of these recruitment agencies use what you call poorly equipped clinics poorly equipped hospitals that do not have the necessary equipment to do a thorough checkup of your body. And apart from that, apart from that, when we definitely look at what you call recruitment agencies also, let us look at a scenario. What is your role as you, the person, before you even think of traveling out of your country is to find out the status of your health. You can do that. Go and to the hospital. Inject money in your in yourself. Go and find out what is the status of yourself before even you forge your life in one way or the other. Because at the end of it all, no one loses when you are being deported back. You already put in your money. Let's say you for example, you injected in five thousand Qatarian in that equivalent forever. You may be coming from the country and you deported back. You become a failure. You become a failure for anyone that will see you. You will not even blame what you call the recruitment agents. Because as the, the recruitment agents, his or her role was to get you on board, get you the ticket, get you under the interview, then get into the country. You're already in the country. So who are you going to blame at that time? So before you think of even giving that amount of money to the recruitment agents, yes, make a double sacrifice in case you really need the job. And in case you are determined to have the job. Or before even you think of having an idea of moving out. Check your health. If you've ever suffered from what you call the TB. The tuberculosis. You should thoroughly check. You should thoroughly go to a hospital that is equipped. The thoroughly check and see that you do not have any more stress. Any more stress of what you call the black spots on yourself. Because otherwise, they will not accept the medicals here. They will do even more than two times, but they will not accept it. If they try to, try to find something that is not normal. So don't live in what we call denial. To thinking that everything is going to be done by the recruitment agents for you. Even your health, even the recruitment agents to know the status of your health. You know yourself better before you get to trouble. Very many people have been deported back because of that. Injecting money. You sell what you have. But again, you fail out. That is what normally happens. So that is part of your role. Go to the hospital. Check. If you are under treatment or you are under what you call treatment, it's, it's not always too late. There are always opportunities. Finish up the opportunity. Finish up the treatment. If you're given to, uh, treatment for uh, tuberculosis, finish it up. To see that you are thoroughly fine. That even if they get you out, if they get you to put you in what you call an X-ray, you definitely 
prove to them that you are medically fit to do the job and you are eligible to work in the country. So, I think I've tried to share up something for you. Most people are being deported, repatriated back because of the medical fitness test. So let us do our responsibility, much as we go to those recruitment agencies. Let us not trust them 100% with our life. We know our lives better. We know ourselves better. If you must have suffered, if you suffered from TB to some extent, yes, you know that. Most of the time I keep on telling people why these countries, you may look at TB or you may look at the x-ray, medical, uh, some diseases that you may think in your country are something small. To these countries, this is what you call a big issue or what you call a big step that they don't want to go back to. Remember, most of these countries have eradicated or have gone off with such kind of diseases, especially that we may have in Africa. They've got treatment and fought with them for a long period of time. So they would not wish to spend an extra cost on one person who comes with this problem other than first treating his, his, his himself at home to come when he's secure. Because the treatments may be costly. That is what happens. And even your employer is left with no choice. He's left with no choice. He's going to repatriate you back to go. Because that is the regulation by the government. So hope I've tried to share up something for you. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation. By the way, it's your first time. For, don't forget to hit that notification bell because you will be updated whenever I upload a new video. By the way, don't, for, don't forget to follow me on my TikTok account. It's still at Max Creation TV. For a short break of 15, 25 minutes of the latest updates around the Gulf countries. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.